Hello Aries, Jackie Talman here. This is your general reading. This is for the week of July 3rd, 2023. Thank you guys for joining me. I want to remind you, sorry about that. This is um, a general reading. Okay, so take with you what resonates, leave what does not behind for someone else. If you want a personal one on one reading, contact me at jackietalman.com or find some options listed below in the description box. Okay, but there's a menu of options on my website. Okay, so Aries, what have we got going on here? First of all, I see a lot of money, I see a lot of people, and I see you really busy as we enter this first week into July. Um, New doors are opening for you. There's new money waiting on you. This is things you have been manifesting since winter of last year. So, long time overdue, I'm thinking. Positive thinking, remain positive. You know, my thing of it is, um, you've got new opportunities. And it's kind of like, get the rest that you can, while you can. The calm before the storm. That's what I'm seeing here. It's going to be a crazy busy week. For some of you, there's been some lessons well learned. And for some of you, you're closing out something. You're slamming the door on something. You know, I love it when you slam doors. Because when you close one door, another new door will open. Always, always, always. Okay, so let's get into the energy of the week from July 3rd, 2023. For my Aries of what spirit has for you. First card we had jumped out was the Eight of Wands, which I love. Eight of Wands are talking about total happiness, total contentment, love arrows flying around. Just good vibrations all the way around. Some of you, you might be doing the vacation scene. The tropical scenery is what I'm seeing. So the weather, the heat, that's all there. We have the High Priestess, and that High Priestess comes in and says, you are grounded, you are centered. You're grounded, you're centered, you're intuitive. You're really tapping into your intuitive side this week. And for some of you, there's some kind of a spiritual awakening here. To the point you may be looking up scripture or researching something. But there is, yeah, there's definitely a big spiritual awakening coming in. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, that Wheel of Fortune talks about that wheel turning in your favor. This is generally an indication of good luck and abundance. Not only is this good luck and abundance, this is a card of partnership. Now, this is a general for all of you. For some of you, this is partnership and love. And for some, it's partnership and money, business-wise. So, you take it as it resonates with you. Uh, also, seeing that the color red is going to be significant for some of you. And some of you, there's something to do with you're having to do some kind of extermination, uh, rodents, something like that. There's some kind of problem you're having to handle. Just putting that out there. Five of Wands, talking about avoid needless drama. I really think this is on the home front or with family. And I do describe it as needless drama because it's going to be very brief and passing. Okay, not worth your energy to get involved with. We have in the center of the reading, the King of Cups. That King of Cups comes in. This is a huge offer of love. Offer stability. Somebody coming in to offer you a relationship if you're single. Date night for some of you. This applies to my singles and my couples. The star. The star comes in and says... Let's talk about wish fulfillment, total happiness, total contentment, definite wish fulfillment. But there's a delay attached to this. Okay. I have to be honest with you. Five of Cups says, do not overthink. Do not get in your head. Do not get stuck in thoughts. Particularly, I know this is odd, if you're on vacation, no overthinking. You're there to rest and relax and you need to take the R&R. &R. So no working vacations for you guys. Ten of Pentacles. There it is. Money. Money, money, money. Highest financial card in the deck. This is also, you know, health, wealth, family, friends. You're just your abundance in general. And we have the Princess of Wands. Now, what we're talking about there, Princess of Wands. 
messenger, the messenger card. This could be Sagittarius energy that you're dealing with. The message is the four of wands. I'm telling you, someone's coming in with that offer of the happily ever after. Something Somebody's going to offer you stability, something of the long term. All right, let's get into another deck here. See if we have any more messages for you for the week. It looks good, though. Energy looks really good for my Aries. Busy, but good. You're losing sleep, nine of swords, but it's not a loss of sleep over worry. This is like a more of an excitement, adrenaline type loss of sleep. So that's a good thing. And it could be, you know, we've got financial balance going. There's something here that brings in that aha moment, that sigh of relief, that something, that something that reassures you, says, you know, you're going to be all right. You're going to make it. Seven of Wands, what I'm talking about. There's going to be a shift in energy where you just feel it. You just feel that maybe you've changed your mind about someone or something, but you just feel that things are going to work out or things are working better than what you had anticipated. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is money in addition to money in addition to your regular pay. This could actually be the sale of an item. Or really, I'm going with the sale of an item. Uh, it could be a side hustle or anything like that. Center of the reading comes in with the Page of Cups. There is an unexpected offer of love. And I do want to stress the word unexpected. And I also want to throw out that a Capricorn may or may not resonate with you. Oh, there's that magician. Oh, hello, spirit. There's the magician trumping your entire reading. Okay. And this is talking about your yes answer, getting everything you want, everything you desire right there on that table before you. It's going to be an amazing week for you guys. Five of Cups comes in with the Fool. Love the Fool card energy. It says you're happy, go lucky, <sighs> travel and light, freedom. Ooh, we got some jumpers going on here, Aries. Okay, so travel light and some freedom going on here. Getting ready to jump into something with both feet. We have the Knight of Wands. Someone moving in, someone moving out. Hi, Diamond, how are you? Someone moving in and someone moving out. Movement on the home front. Could be large renovations. I really think that I see this as movement. Actual physical movement. And then on that princess, we have temperance, Sagittarius energy. It's talking about doing things differently. When you do things differently, you get a different result. You get a better result. King of Pentacles and I can't make this up. Right beside the star, you got the sun, the sun shining and all that you do. Financial stability could be dealing with a Gemini energy. Aries, we are going to the extended on this one. I had no idea, but we are. We're going to the extended. So if you want to join me for the extended, that information is in the description box below. Now that is access to all extendeds all the time. Cross watchers welcome. Um, also, it gets you um, open chats, video chats, all sorts of stuff. So y'all join me over there. Going to be a great week, though, if y'all give me a few moments. We depart here. That's fine. Y'all have a fantastic week. Give me a few moments, and I'll be returning with Taurus.